help you we can follow the sun leave the rain for somebody else today we are reupholstering our new bed frame and Perhaps you're thinking, you got a new bed frame, why are you reupholstering it? Why did you not just buy the bed frame that you wanted from the very beginning? Well, it turns out that orange beds in the style that we wanted are cheaper. <laughs> so we ended up buying this wing back bed frame that I loved the style of, but it was the cheapest version of this style that I could find. And I thought to myself, hey, I've reupholstered before. Let's try it again. So I ended up buying some beautiful fabric from a store called Tonic Living. And I am going to today put the two together. So I'm thinking because this board has this piece right here, it's not going to be as straightforward of a fold over and staple so i'm thinking i'm gonna fold over the fabric at the top first and do this little part first and then i think everything else will be more simple so let's try that So I did finish the headboard, which I think looks amazing, and I realized that what I've seen people do is they put, if they're um, upholstering over one dark fabric with a lighter fabric, they'll use like a, like a white cotton underneath so that you get the true color of the fabric that you're covering it with. So the original fabric has a bit more of like a light cream color, but because it's semi, you could, you could see through it if you held it up to a window, um, you're getting a bit more of like a dark cream because the orange is making it a bit darker. It's kind of similar, I think, to when you go from a dark color on a wall to paint uh, and then you want to paint it lighter, you kind of have to prime it first so that you can get the true color that you're trying to change the dark to if you're going lighter, if that makes sense. <laughs> but um, I'm just going to stay the course. I think this looks incredible. Um, I'm so happy with the fabric that I got and I can't wait to see this all put together. I am so hot. It is like so hot in here. <laughs> Um, it is one of the nicest days so far of the year. It's officially spring. 
I think it's 10 degrees outside and it's been sunny and it's you can hear the birds and it's just beautiful outside but inside because there's so many windows on this home um, it's basically like a greenhouse so I'm sweating but this looks fantastic let's keep going even though <laughs> Even though I am so hot, I might just change my shirt. So new outfit warning. Um, that's pretty much how I live my life. I just, you know, switch my outfit every hour depending on the temperature in the house. It starts freezing and then it gets hot and then it ends freezing. So I'm like, <laughs> anyways, okay. take all this stuff out. Let's, so let's do one thing at a time, maybe. Someone commented on one of my videos that she loved my patience, and I really appreciated it, but deep down I know that I am not always patient, so but it really reminded me that it is a good attribute to work on. If anyone out there is curious, this bed that I'm taking apart is from Ikea. We actually got this bed when we got married, which is coming up on seven years ago. So this bed has served a great purpose. It's been in about three or four homes. <laughs> We've moved around quite a bit, um, but we are very excited to upgrade our bed frame. And this bed frame is actually going into our spare room. So very exciting changes. Just popping in here to make a small apology for the rolling shadow that's going across the screen. I only noticed now editing and it turns out it's actually from the light that is above the bed uh, because it's not showing up in any of the other shots. So apologies if that's a distraction, but I will avoid using that in the future. As a matter of fact, we actually want to swap it out. So that will definitely take care of that. Something I learned while doing this project is when you're doing a fabric that has a pattern that is going in a certain direction like I did, this pinstripe fabric, uh, and you want all the lines to go in a certain direction, when accounting for how much you need, you actually need to be a bit more liberal with how much you get. I did not account for the fact that when you want the pattern to go in a certain direction you can't just slap on fabric when you have extra when there's a small space you want to fill because it does need to go in the same direction and you do want it to look cohesive so i just wanted to take a chance and show you what i've been doing on the corners in order to uh, flop them over so let's see if i can do this here so right here we've got a corner and obviously there's a point here let's see here so there's a point here so i've just been taking the corner and just folding it into the middle and then i just fold this part up and then i fold this part up now this part this side is a bit short <laughs> this side is a bit short but i'll be able to pin that you see that how it's it's obviously not an ideal corner, but when you're trying to avoid doing the sewing, it works. So um, let me know if you want 
I don't know, more tutorials on what I do. I mean, I'm not, uh, I'm not a uh, upholstery no knowing person. I've just been doing it. And you can too. Just to let you know what the plan is, I ran out of fabric for the bed and we are currently waiting on fabric to be able to finish this. So I have fabric for one of these wings and then the other fabric is coming shortly. So that will be in the next video. I'm so thankful for you guys being here and uh, watching I hope that you feel inspired. It's just staples. I think for this I will have to sew because um, I think it'll make it look a bit more snazzy. As you can see here, can you see that? There we go. As you can see here, I think uh, I'm not gonna be able to just pull fabric and staple, but um, we'll figure that out in the next video. But thank you so much for watching. I hope that you have a wonderful day, evening, morning, wherever or whenever you're watching this. And I will see you in the next video. Bye, guys.